Hey everybody, it's Ben here. I am at home sick today and feeling pretty miserable, but I am excited that a package showed up today. Uh, this came here from my buddy Russ over at uh, RWG Research, who he stumbled on a couple of N-phase inverters at an electronics uh, salvage yard. So I asked him to uh, buy a couple and ship them to me. So these are the uh, it's an older version, the M-Phase 215, and in fact, this is a, a variant that is ZEP compatible. So the mounting bracket looks a little bit different, but it is MC4 connectors, which is what my solar panels use. Now, the output on these things are a special dedicated connector um, that has to match up with a, a special cable, also sold by M-Phase. Now, I went ahead and I bought a section of it. Uh, kind of for testing and experimenting. So it's uh, cable, 12 gauge cabling. It's hot, hot, neutral, and ground. And then it has that matching dedicated connector. This piece of cable actually has two drops on it. And then I uh, already, after I'd gotten this, I just uh, um, terminated it. I found the right type of a waterproof uh, squeeze on connector at the local big box home improvement store in an outdoor raid plastic box. The other thing. I wanted to test with these was just to make sure that I could um, unplug them uh, once I plugged them in. And if you look on this connector here, there is a um, there's these the conductors, and then on these little holes on the side. So right here, that's a mechanical connection. There's some metal clips, and they're released by putting a special tool through these holes on either side. Now I experimented a little bit and I found that a typical plain wood pencil is actually just the right size to go in for, through the release holes. So uh, if I plug this thing in, I'll at least be able to unplug it. So this is literally these micro inverters are plug and play. So you don't need really a solar installer or anybody. I mean, you, you literally just plug them in and uh, you just plug in a number of them on a single trunk cable like this and then down at the end uh, connect it up to some typical 12 gauge AC wiring and that's it. Uh, I'll have to do some experimenting to be able to test these to see that they actually work. Uh, they were cheap enough at that salvage yard that uh, you know if they, they don't work no big loss but uh, if they do work it would be great for something like a ground mount system. I'm not so sure about a uh, having them up on my roof, for example, because they are unknown. Who knows how long they'll last. I'm guessing that these things were used in some sort of a commercial system, so I have no idea how long they were up up in the sun or even if they work at all, but I'll design up some sort of a test rig. I'm sorry, this is a little bit of a teaser video because I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to get to that. I've uh, uh, got a, a number of projects i got to finish off first, so it might be two weeks before I can actually do that. But look for a real video from me sometime soon, not just a bad cell phone video of uh, working on testing some of these inverters.